Let's get this party started! Now coming to the ring, it's the big boys of boxing, making his entrance first from Romania, Bogdan Dino! Bogdan Dinu, 32 years old. He is undefeated as a professional, 18 and 0. This is his United States debut. Big step up in class, although he has an impressive amateur record in Europe. 135 wins, only 15 losses. And you see he's got a full-time job, special forces, police officer. He's involved in hostage negotiation, SWAT work in Bucharest, but he'll be facing the big baby. And now making his entrance to the ring from Brooklyn, New York, Jarrell, Big Baby Miller! That's a good entrance. DMX. <laughs> I love it. There, there's got to be a little more bass <laughs> as Jarrell Miller walks to the ring, right? I got to say, Gerald, with Gerald Miller and Clarissa Shields, they came out to the great, great songs. 50 Cent and DMX. Good message. Big Baby staring toward Bogdan Dinu. Don't worry, the final start. Take a look at the tail of the tape. Again, this is where size matters the most. This is the unlimited weight class, and 237 pounds used to be big. Right? The heavyweight division, not that long ago. Now, Dinu is dwarfed by the 315 pounds on Jarrell Miller, 30 years of age. Dinu, two years older. Same unified rules. No standing eight, no three knockdown rule. Cannot be saved by the bell in any round. And only the referee can stop the fight. Main event time here near Wichita. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of the Kansas Star Casino, Mulvane, Kansas, Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Boxing USA in association with Greg Cohen Promotions, along with Salida Promotions and KO Night Boxing, present live on DAZN and on Sky Sports Boxing, the main event on the line, the vacant NABO title and the interim NABA championship and it's all sponsored by JD Sports. It's 12 rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division, sanctioned by the Kansas Athletic Commission, and your three judges at ringside scoring, Tim Cheatham, Steve Smoger, and David Sutherland, referee in charge of the action at the bell, championship veteran Bill Clancy. And now it's two undefeated heavyweights. Somebody's O has got to go. So from the Kansas Star Arena, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black with silver and official weight, 237.4 pounds. He stands six feet five and brings a perfect professional record to the ring consisting of 18 fights, 18 victories, including 14 big wins by knockout from Bucharest, Romania, the undefeated Bogdan Dinu. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with gold, standing six feet four and weighing in officially at 315.4 pounds. His professional record, outstanding, with 22 victories, 19 of the 22 wins by knockout. He's undefeated, one draw from Brooklyn, New York, the NABA heavyweight champion and WBA number two ranked Heavyweight contender in the world, the undefeated Jarrell Big Baby Miller. So 
second. Fighter in chief second only. Fighter in chief second only. All right, gentlemen, we're scheduled for 12 rounds. You went through the instructions in the back. I want to again remind you, I want a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times, and gentlemen, you must obey my commands. Now, both your trunks are a little high, so I'm going to let punches go on the very top of the bands, okay? Let's touch them up. Good luck. God bless. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Jarrell Miller, part of the proud lineage of Brooklyn heavyweights, Floyd Patterson, Mike Tyson, Riddick Bowe. Michael Moore, uh, for a second there, the most accomplished Brooklyn fighter in the ring was in the other corner. Eddie Bustafa Muhammad, former light heavyweight champion of the world. He is in Dinu's corner. Pull that bucket, pull that bucket. Let's do it. Buck. Glad you could be with us here, Brian Kenny, Sugar Ray Leonard, Sergio Mora, DeZone Wichita, and the main event underway, Jarrell Big Baby Miller in the flamboyant black trunks, Dinu in the more conservative Black trunks. And Dinu at least presenting a height similarity, if not in weight. You know, when uh, Miller walked into the ring, he, he was so intimidating. He was he, like, like Mike Tyson used to be. He's got that down. That thing, yeah, yeah. he just has that <laughs> thing. We call it a thing. I think that song, that ring entrance <laughs> helped too, is ominous. He's got a good presence, and he is. There's a calmness about him, he's gaining experience. If you're wondering where he fits into the heavyweight picture, I mentioned ESPN.com rankings has him at number six, Ring Magazine at number nine. So he is climbing toward the Joshua and Wilder Championship League. Dillian White is there, Luis Ortiz, Povetkin off a very good challenge against Anthony Joshua as well, also in that top ten. Do you is doing the right thing with using that height and reach that jab, that long jab? Keep, he has to keep that jab out there. Able to follow up then. It's the hooks as well. Nice right hand follows up. So good straightforward work by Dinu. That's exactly what I was going to say, Ray. I think uh, he's making a good showing of himself right now halfway into the first round. He's moving. He's boxing. He's keeping uh, Miller at the end of his jab. He looks relaxed. And a man that tall, that big as Dinu. Great. Foot movement. Not a surprise, as you heard Miller telling Chris Mannix before the fight, look, I know what he's going to do. He's going to try to box me. And the question is, can he keep me off of him? Miller didn't seem to think so eventually. Right now, so far, it has worked. You've got to keep that jab in your, in your opponent's face. And that's the oh, in front of him. And the, look at the body shots he threw. Beautiful body shots, right and left. Dinu, he continues to press with the jab. And even if you just touch the man's face, you're scoring. You put a round in the book. The question is, how much, how long can he do this? By, and also being hit to the body by Miller. Miller moving forward. Looking to trap Dinu in the corner. You know, his physical presence just crushed Thomas Adamic. Oh, 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 Miller throwing a wicked right hand. Dinu better turn around. He does. He fires off a right hand. United States debut for Dinu. Again, six times he's fought in Canada, but the other fights have been in Romania. With a full time job, you know, he's got other responsibilities. But this is a big opportunity for him. Five seconds. And he's had a very good first round. Yes, he did. Big right hand. It's a snappy right hand from Dinu. And it looks like he won that round. I don't know what to expect out of Dinu. I just knew that he has a great trainer in his corner in Eddie Mustafa Muhammad. But that was a good display in the first round. That was. Keep the jab on, all right? Hands up. That's all you got to do. Hands up. Very simple. Keep the jab on him. You got to run into it. All right? Give him the mouthpiece, mouthpiece. Y'all got to move out of the way, man. <laughs> We're in Eddie Mustafa Muhammad's way. Interesting. Uh, 
you know, I say that every round, interesting instructions, but it is, look, it's, he's gonna run right into it, meaning Dinu just jabs. He can box with this guy. What'd you think of that, Ray? Um, I like what Eddie Mustafa said. He said, use that jab, just keep it out there. At the same time, Sergio, you heard the big breath from Dinu. This is stressful. These are <laughs> stressful rounds for a guy, you know, not just in his condition, but level of experience as well. Wouldn't you be stressed out if you have a guy over 300 pounds with war on his trunks? Be extremely stressed. Dino has been successful so far, just straightforward. Good shot to Dino. Kind of, you know, European amateur style boxing, straight up the Work middle. Work out of it. Work out of it. Long right, jab, stop. followed up by a right hand. Turn around. Box. Dino is trying to really time that right hand. So that is right hand go. And he leads there with a hook. He just he, he changed it up and then flashes out a straight jab. But it's the, it's the jab that sets it up. Watch. You know, hitting him there too. Good head movement there from Miller, but. The jabs are landing by Dinu. Miller now moves in. Body shot. Tried to go to the head. That's blocked. Miller's presence wears you down. He doesn't have to even lean on you. Just the size alone. Well, Advancing. Miller's just trying, trying to keep the pace going and while working those shots. Well, you have to, right, Ray? Because if you let this guy just jab the night away and keep his breath, you could lose a fight. Exactly. Dinho would love to have it, the air taken out of this fight. To stand there, jab just like that. Two, three jabs, occasional right hand. He's touching the face constantly. Look at the head movement of the middle. But he's, he's still getting touched. Miller's presence may wear you down, but if Dinho could continue that jab and those angles and moving, that's going to wear down a big man, too. Hey, look, if you're, you're scoring this fight, every time he touches his face, that's a scoring shot. There it is again. And the hook again. Dinho is not just feather dusting him, he's hitting him with a hook. Miller back in the ring, only six weeks removed from his last fight. Chris Mannix mentioned, right, coming right out of the ring, an easy win over Thomas Adamic, who's once an outstanding fighter. He said, hey, you want to get back in the ring? He said, you put me back in. But, you know, fighting an unknown quantity here. But do you see what's happening here? I mean, the only time that uh, Dino is getting hit is when he's stationary target. When he's moving like he's doing here, very effective with the jab, especially with the jab and his height. The jab, right hand. Good movement. He's, he's able to change up the point change. And, and he's also able to change, you know, kind of the, the style of punches. He right. lead with a Let hook. Him Let him up. Turn around. He has a couple of different, yep. like, yep. I know, Sergio, Box. you're big on that, on the pace of your punches. He's able to change that up as well. Change the tempo. Absolutely. Another solid Bell's round coming. of work. Stop at the bell. From Bogdan Dinu, who comes Time. in undefeated. And he has been sharp here in a bit of a surprise against the top 10 heavyweight. We're not picking, we're not picking up those shots, man. You gotta pick up the punch up one, all right? As you see the, uh, the size of Jarrell Miller, Nikolai Valuev, who had a, a belt in 1997, was never actually the heavyweight champion of the world, but had a belt. He's at 348. Butterbean, that stunned even, I mean, I knew Butterbean was Butterbean, but 426? I never knew that. I didn't know that. No. Buster Mathis in the 60s, that was, again, huge news. Trained by Customato, later trained. Or also trained Floyd right? Patterson before that, and then after that, the it'd be Mike Tyson. But on, Mathis, just like Buster Mathis Jr., not not the body beautiful. That's his natural body. Those are genetics at work, right? And you like the way he's at, right? But his pace has to be different, right? I think he's lost these first two rounds. Am I wrong? They were close, but I would I would edge him out to Dino. Dino is. Well, I don't even think they were close. Ray, break well, the stop. It was close, it was, was close, it? but yeah. Dinu is using, as long as he uses that jab and stays on the outside, he kind of, he kind well, of. No, 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 Here's no, why no, I said no. they were close, exactly. uh, Brian. So, judges fine. like pressure, so just the presence Fuck. of Miller coming forward, of course, and he's landed some devastating body shots that have been blocked, but yes, Dinu is uh, showing a good example of himself here. See, like, shots like that, it was blocked, but it thumped. Already him getting Dinu right, touched no in the canvas, just Step getting back. pushed Step back, back on break. knocked down, Step it was back. just a trip, but Fuck. 
Not a knockdown, but still Miller looking to take advantage of that. Dinu looks to try to change the equation back to the way it was the first two rounds. I just think Sergio, he touched his face scoring shots so often. I don't think it was close. Listen, I could be wrong. I agree. I agree with you. But some judges like this pressure, even though it's ineffective, just coming forward. And then if you land those hard body shots that make that big noise. Then they shouldn't be professional judges. I agree with you. I mean, here it goes. Like the punch stats look sometimes they're, they're right on, sometimes they're not. This 22 landed to six from Big Baby. So Dinu, according to the CompuBox stats in round two, certainly got the better of it there. You ask me, yes, Dinu was uh, effective in those first two rounds. Good body shot by there, Miller. Miller landing that one. And you know, he, if he picks up the pace and imposes himself on Dinu, this could change quickly. Oh, straight right hand off it. Kind of a, and to, fired off his shoulder. And to point something else out, I mean, we talked about uh, Miller's weight and everything. You know, this is a fast pace, especially for heavyweights. And Miller is not breathing hard. Right. No, I think uh, from good? the end of the oh, first that round, down. Ray, when I heard that big breath that Dinu had to bring in, it's right, it is stressful. And just being in this situation, not just facing a 300-pound guy, but it's a big step up. He's not a, uh, you know, his, his life is not boxing. Body shots from Miller. Good and shot. so as the fight wears on, it will favor Jarrell Miller. Oh, hold it there. Dinu on his bike there a bit. He blocked that. Can't block that to the body. Miller with a potent body no, no, attack. No, 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 stop. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. But well, Clancy is right on that because look, Dinu is going to get worn down even with something like that. Just Miller leaning on it. Body shots again by Miller. Those land. Dinu tries to answer that. Low. Low. Combination. Low. That was low. No knockdown. You okay? My time. My Referee time. called it. That was low. Bill Clancy saw that low. immediately. Right? Walk it off. It Stay right there. Low. He's got five minutes. If Girl, so you got to keep him up. That was low. You got to keep it up, okay? Keep it up. On the band is fine, not below. Now, if you're Dean, you, how long do you take? Uh, twenty. Take time. Uh, about a, a month. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when you're good. So you're saying four you're minutes and fifty-nine seconds. No retaliation. Right. Time in. Well, that's interesting. Bill Clay, you ever hear that, Sergio? No retaliation. I know up. what you're going to try to do here. I wouldn't take the five. Do? I wouldn't take the five minutes if I was Dean. I, I would. I would keep moving, keep boxing, keep doing what I was doing, because if anyone's going to get tired, it's Miller. And even though that's an illegal shot, good work there by Dean. Bell's coming, stop that it takes the bell. a little bit out of you. You get hit down low, needless to say. Time that's misses. worse than a body shot. Now, the only thing bad that can happen, as Miller there stretches out a bit, is that if he does it again, well, well you see, when I told you how to switch, you saw the other side. Then point taken away. Nothing was taken away here. Work. Beautiful. So there's the first taste nope. of the canvas from Dinu on the trip. Bill Clancy had that right. That was a good body shot. Now let's take a look at that low. That's uh, a low blow. It's low. Yeah. That is. That's below the band. If anything, it was borderline on the borderline, but I wouldn't call it low. Uh, I wouldn't call it too low. How about that? You don't wait. You wouldn't call that a low blow. No, it's a low blow. I called it from the get go, but it did hit the border borderline of the borderline. But it was a low blow. <laughs> right? What? Sergio, you and I are going to disagree. I think the rest of the night. No, 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 no. It was a low blow. <laughs> also, look at how his shorts are are low like that. So that makes it a little bit more difficult to see. Round four scheduled for twelve. Bogdandinho making this an interesting fight. Jarrell Miller coming in again with the intimidating glare and the well, better music, but so far the, the man who has scored the more shots has been Dinu. But you, if you notice, uh, Miller's kind of walking towards uh, Dinu with more of a sense of urgency. Miller trying to walk him down. Dinu, though, he's spinning Break, out of no danger. Blood. Step out, step out. Nice a little clean. grappling there for a minute, Huck. and that is training as well on Dinu. Miller landing more shots there, according to the stats, in round three. Dinu comes back in and now takes the initiative. Miller just missed with a big left hook right there that would have put Dinu in trouble, but luckily it missed. The big baby getting closer and closer with those shots. And I think, Sergio, not to disagree with you on every single issue, but I, I think as the fight wears on, we're going to see the energy drain faster from Dinu. I, I think. I mean, despite despite the, the weight difference. 
At first glance, if you look at these guys' numbers in height, reach, and age, and even in being undefeated, they look even, but Big Baby, by far, is the more experienced, uh, all-around better fighter, but Dino is making a good showing of himself here. Well, Dino is still, I mean, still moving around right-footed, uh, but I tell you what, Miller needs to be careful of just walking in. He's exposed to. We're got it. Yeah, he's coming in with Count. his hands. Yeah, his yes. hands are down too, Ray. You're right. Now he's trying to hunt him down. He's trying to just put the pressure on. Dinu there lands some body shots. Not all at hard, but those are scoring shots. As Miller just verges forward and a good jab again by Bogdan Dinu. It was a good body shot, and sometimes if your opponent's breathing in, a slight little body shot like that would do do harm. Dinu is able to get up on his toes and spin out of danger. I wonder how long he'll be able to do that. We're only in the fourth round. So far, he's been successful. Miller is good in close. He's got good, fluid hands. And now he oh, trains the shot. Oh, oh, oh. I love that combination. Two, Beautiful combination. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dinu barely beats we'll the here. count. First time he has been down so you go? in his professional you career. Oh. Miller with beautiful work there. Went to the body and put his man down. Can he finish it? Final 30 Knock seconds down. right here. Down he goes. Two, three. Knocked down for the very four, first time. Five, six, oh, a tough seven, class. eight, nine, ten. He does not make it. Yeah. Impressive. In a matter of seconds, Big Baby Miller takes the fight back. A good start by Dinu, but that's a top 10 heavyweight in action. He took care of business. Something's with his hamstring. He stretched out before, he's stretching out now. But Miller with an impressive knockout. Impressive knockout. He put that together quickly, Sergio. He needed to. He needed to because Dinu was only getting more confident, but that was just an explosive, beautiful combination. I think it was a right uppercut, left hook, right cross. Just beautiful, explosive, it was fast. That's why every time people talk about how big and heavy uh, this man is, Miller, if you see combinations like that, how explosive he is, who cares how much he weighs? You know, I tell you what, and that's why people love heavyweight boxers, because one punch, can turn everything around. One punch. Big Baby Miller says he cramps up when he gets too light in weight. I think right now with his foot up in the top rope, he might be cramping up right now. Well, but he's 70 pounds <laughs> heavier than his lightest weight. But he's so he's cramping up now. Where's he gonna go? He's 317 pounds of <laughs> cramping up. Let's watch this again because this was just beautiful work. Yes, the uppercut was. and the hook after, you know, the shots to the body. That's a middleweight combination by a man that's 317 pounds. This is a version of the Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson threw that combination to the body and up to the head. Same hand, you're right. Same hand. Right hand to the body, come up the middle with the uppercut, and then he finished him off with a headshot. I was waiting for more body work. Good versatile attack by Big Baby Miller. It was an explosive combination. Not only was it powerful, of course, but the speed caught mm. Dini off guard oh, as well. And the hook to finish him off. And the fact that Denis has never been knocked down, that was his test. Never let, let those hands go. Crushing right hand. You're right, on the previous combination, when I talked about the Brooklyn lineage, maybe Big Baby was watching Tyson Trevor Burbick. <laughs> <laughs> Had it imprinted into his head. A well-executed combination. Well, Big Baby is from Ben Stuy, so uh, he did the notorious B.I.G. proud right there because Big Man took care of business tonight. Dinu, again, off to a very good start, winning rounds, and boxing well, took everything he had, but that's his first professional loss, and that's what it's like when you step up to a guy who makes this his full-time job. Very impressive by a Miller. Impressive now, win. Now the question is, if, is Eddie Hearn going to give him another fight in 42 days, considering he's knocking guys out like this? Well, I'll tell you what. That wasn't overly stressful. He had to work. He had to work. He got, he got tested, but not physically tested, right? Not physically, certainly not beat up. He Just blew some jabs. He blew out through Adamic. He went a couple of rounds here. Maybe a little frustrating rounds like Dean Hughes part, but he still took care of business in explosive fashion. Why not come back in 42 days? 
see the punches landed in favor of Bogdan Dinu, but the ones that mattered went to Big Baby. Three Bill Clancy counts to 10, and this contest comes to an end. The official time, two minutes, 45 seconds of round number four. The winner by knockout victory, he's still undefeated. He is the NABA and NABO heavyweight champion, and he is number two ranked heavyweight contender in the world. The undefeated Jarrell Big Baby Miller. You know, one of the questions asked uh, here throughout the night in Wichita was the guy on the A side tested. Did he learn anything? You know, Eddie Hearn mentioned that before. I think he had to figure that out. He had to figure out Dinu tonight. He was able to do it. Absolutely, he was tested tonight, whether you like to think or not, because he got frustrated. He was tested, no question about that, and he figured it out. Big Baby in the ring now. Chris Mannix is there. Chris? Well, Jarrell, congratulations. The first couple of rounds of this fight, it looked like Dinu might be a little tough for you to figure out. What were you seeing in him early? Oh, no, no, my jab was better than his. It was just I couldn't step off the front foot. I've been fighting a cold from the time I got um, down here in Wichita, and I've been blowing my nose and Vicks and Halls. So no excuses, but I know once I got warmed up, my blood was going. I predicted the fourth round. I know he's going to try to box a little bit. Um, that's boxing, though. You got to try to adjust and um, adjust on the fly. But I know it's going to get him sooner or later. People talk about your weight all the time, but it was clear you were the better conditioned fighter oh, yeah, in this fault. fight. Could you tell that he was getting winded and caught up in your pressure? Yeah, I know once I started throwing the body shots in my corner, I seen that he was fumbling over steps a little bit. And I have a good jab to the body. And that jab, I seen him stutter stepping back. I know I start putting the pressure on. I get my footing down. I get him. We know you want those big fights that are out there, but you've countered that by being as busy as humanly possible. Yeah. What's next for you? Oh, man, there's a couple of different fights we've been looking at, talking to my team, uh, Wiseman Group, Dean and Damien, and uh, talking to Eddie, uh, and GCP Promotions, and uh, just trying to figure out what's next. You know, we want AJ, but AJ's a little busy. If Dylan White gets past Chisora, I like one of them. But I heard Trevor Bryan, you know, if Don Kick picks up the phone, I like to knock Trevor Bryan out to another undefeated fighter since we're knocking out undefeated guys. So let's see Trevor Bryan will pick up the phone and we'll knock his behind out as well, too. What's appealing to you about a Dillian White fight? White, of course, fighting Chisora next month. Why is that fight a good one for you? I think it's about time I, I knock out a Brit. You know, the Brits right now are at the top of the list, just as me and Deontay is. Uh, we're the two undefeated guys in the American side. And uh, Deontay's fighting a Brit. And um, he's been calling out AJ, but you know Tyson stepped up. So if I can't get AJ, I like the next guy, Dylan, Dylan, uh, Dylan White, Derek Chisora, even a David Allen, David Price, one of those guys. A Brit Doctor really goes going in this plumber in the street. <laughs> so this pace, we'll see you next month, right? Oh man, hey, if, hey, if Eddie Hearn wants it, um, if he comes with a game plan that I like, let's make it happen. Big Ray Promotions. I just want to give a shout out to Belize TNC 10 News out in Belize, um, and we're doing big things out there. Shout out to my brother uh, Jason Edwards out there doing things. My whole time family that came out here, all the Brooklyn, uh, Aviana Jewelry. It's everybody, man. It's, it's been supporting me from the beginning. Um, me and Demetrius Slita have a little beef, but he said he said he's going to do the right thing. We so let's let, let's let's sit, let's sit let's right sit down and figure it out because, like I said before, boxing learning experience, and um, you know I want I want, I want to make peace. But at the same time, nobody can't take advantage. And I me and him butt pants. So let's see if me and Demetri can make it happen. And uh, sit down with GCP and Eddie Hearn and see if we take it from there. If not, I'm going to kick his butt. <laughs> Lastly, what do, you, what do you think the world has learned about Jarrell Miller in these last two fights? Um, that I come to fight. You know, um, nothing was given to me. You know what I mean? Put all the, the, the BS talk aside. I've been earning my way since I was 14 years old. I moved out on my own. Uh, I'm, I'm almost a 17. I started with the K1, went to Croatia, went to Japan. So I'm a fighter. So people think, oh, become 300 pounds and I talk smack. I come fight every time, you know? And I know Dinu was going to give me a, a couple rounds of issue because I know he can box a good jab. But I know once I put the pressure on, he never fought nobody like me. Like I said before, I'm a big lovable guy. Hard work, dedication, cheeseburgers. <laughs> Congratulations, Jarrell. All right, hey, The Zone, Matchroom Boxing, Eddie Hearn, GCP, Big Promotions. Hey, man, big things are coming. I want you guys to tune in. Thank you, and I appreciate you guys for tuning in and subscribing to The Zone. Let's get it.